Hi, my name is Jacqueline Marcel. I'm a medical physicist with the University of Pennsylvania in the Radiation Oncology Department. Uh, over my medical physics career, I've commissioned um, a handful of Linux for different treatment planning systems. I also run a commissioning course for the residents at the University of Pennsylvania, and I you know, let them know how to set up the scanning tank um, and run the software. So I feel I'm in a pretty unique position to know what some of the trials and tribulations are when pulling out your scanning tank and uh, getting ready to scan. So when I set up the tank for either commissioning a machine or performing the annual scanning, um, there's your, your basic tank setup. Um, I also have to find my queue, my, my scanning queue. We usually go through high voltage setup, we run the background and some normalization. Um, we also do a CAX check to check uh, the centering of our chamber. Um, I also like to run some preliminary scans. Um, usually in an energy that I'm familiar with, that I know what either the profile parameters should be um, or the PDD um, value should be for certain depths, just to check my setup and to get comfortable and, and to, to know everything's okay with my setup before I go ahead and launch my scanning queue. So a smart scan um, is really a complete solution consisting of a hardware component, uh, lift tables, um, set up pins, leveling pins, that, that sort of thing, and a software component, which is what I'm going to focus on, the software component. That's what I was able to um, evaluate. So for the smart scan software component, um, that really autom automates and guides the, the user in um, the whole scanning process. So it will optimize your scanning cues, it automates some routine tasks that we typically have to do in the beginning with um, background, CAX check, prelim scans, and also provides a data quality check that's routinely done during the scanning um, acquisition. So it constantly is looking at your data and telling you whether your data is good or not. Um, so it's really an efficient tool that incorporates and automates all your pre-scanning tasks that we physicists like to perform um, before launching your scanning queue. We generate a smart scan queue um, within the MyQA Linux scanning software. Um, you can either use a queue that was generated by IBA for you, or you can use and load your own scanning queue. It, the software uses either or. This is the scanning queue that should be familiar to most people who've used the software before. And as you can see down the bottom, there's a couple of orange scanning queue items that aren't executable for this Linux that we have selected. And by evoking the smart scan software in the upper left-hand corner, it will optimize your queue for you. On the left-hand side of this, um, it has now evoked the smart, can smart scan software. And all those items in the scanning queue on the pre previous slide are now available on the left-hand side. And you select those and drag and drop into the right-hand side. And when you do that, it'll automatically sort and optimize your queue. So all the items in the scanning queue before we optimize are still left on the left-hand side, and these are non-executable for that Linux, and the ones on the right-hand side have been sorted and optimized for optimal scanning performance. So for each beam profile and depth dose curve in the queue, SmartScan automatically determines the best scan speed, the best output, output step width, and it chooses the adequate sensor and electrometer input sensitivity. So this is something in the software that I have gone in in my clinic and set up for each type of scan, but um, SmartScan does it automatically for you. So it becomes more efficient and it will give you a, a higher quality of data um, if, if you let it select the parameters. This is what will pop up when you invoke the SmartScan software. Um, we've already gone through the setup of the measurement groups, and now we're going to do the baseline measurements. And this is really nice because once you start these baseline measurements, it keeps track of everything for you that's been done. Um, it also organizes and lets you know what you still need to do. So and when you hit start baseline measurements, it'll start taking your background measurement, and this box will pop up. We've already gone through the setup measurement groups, so we're on to baseline measurements. When you hit the start baseline measurements, it automatically will start doing a background measurement. And it will let you know an estimated time that it needs to take the background. And then once the background measurement's done, it'll move on to dose rate preparation. The dose rate preparation um, is doing a few things. It's checking that the dose rate that you're going to take your measurements at um, is correct. Um, it'll give you, if you enter these parameters in the suggested MUs, 
and turn your beam on, this will automatically detect the signal and start measuring your dose rate. And with that measured dose rate, it can give you, for further scans, it'll give you an estimated time, but it'll also give you an estimated number of monitor units that you need to do those scans. So after your dose rate is measured, um, you go on to the CACS check. If you've used the MyQA Linux software, scanning software before, this is very similar, except now it's in a more contained area. Um, so this will perform a series of profiles at different depths, and it will suggest uh, small corrections in line and cross plane that you can make or that can be made to your scanning chamber to get it more centered. Um, you can accept these results and it will apply those small shifts, or you can go ahead and maybe do some physical changes if some of those are large, and then remeasure and it, it will and rescan. I think my, one of my favorite things about the SmartScan software is uh, the incorporation of these preliminary scans. This is something as a physicist that I've done and I've taught my residents to do before when you think you're at the place where your setup is right and you're ready to start scanning before you launch your scanning queue, just do a couple of preliminary scans. So this takes that um, and instead of making it good practice, it makes it standard practice. So it's done as part of the baseline measurements and it will tell you um, what parameters from the LINAC that it requires. And then once you beam on, again, it detects the beam and it'll start running these preliminary scans. So for 6X, there's a couple of profiles, there's a couple of PDDs, and it lets you know, hey, these are good and your setup is good. Um, it's also not lost data. If you run these as part of this preliminary scan check and you do say, okay, these are good scans, it'll take those respective items out of your scanning queue. So there's no lost time. The normalization functionality within SmartScan also is a feature that I, I'm impressed with. Um, the normalization functionality outside of the SmartScan, you have to move your chamber yourself, you have to, every time that you make a field size change, or um, a depth change in your detector or an energy change, you need to do that renormalization yourself. Um, this is all done in the background and automatically by SmartScan. So anytime you change an energy, you change a field size, or you change a detector placement, it automatically knows you've done that and it renormalizes for you. So the, the idea is to get good quality data doing this and have minimal processing after you're done scanning. And this is done continuously as you're scanning and, and without any human in interaction. So the signal noise check is also something that's done in the background as you continually scan. This is running in the background and it measures for each profile and curve um, what the noise is. So I've always done a quality check or a visual check as it's scanning saying, oh, okay, that's good. But this is a quantitative check. So there's actually a number that you can either use the default from IBA or you can input your own um, that you determined as a clinic. And if it gets noisy, it'll prompt you that, hey, this is getting too noisy. Let's, let's check out what's going on. So this is a good check, again, so you get quality data that you have to do minimal processing to after you're done scanning. So we observed a number of clinical benefits, especially to our clinic, um, a simplified automated workflow. A lot of the physicists that I work with um, are residents and are the, it's the first time that they're using this software. So having all those pre checks and pre-steps incorporated into the software, you know nothing's being left out, so it keeps track of everything you have to do and everything that you've done. Um, a lot of physicists too, they use the software annually, maybe once a year, to do their annual check on their machine. So again, it really puts in a standard process that everyone can follow. Um, the automatic renormalization function I think is fantastic. It's a time saver with a little human interaction and you get normalized scans. Um, the automatic queue sorting and optimization is something that I found useful. The idea is, for our clinic at least, is to have one, one photon scanning queue, one electron scanning queue that every machine uses. And then once you import it using SmartScan, it'll weed out those energies that aren't related to that machine. So it really is time saving where you don't have to go in and select and delete or have a, multiple numbers of queues. You can have one queue, SmartScan sorts it, and you just get on your way. The, one of the other things I wanted to mention is that the, at the end of the scanning, when you're done, it pops up a report and it's kept track of everything that you've done. And it's a nice PDF report that then you can upload um, or 
keep as part of your report for, for commissioning or for your animal scanning. Okay, thank you very much.